cha Kogelo County ya Siaya. Mama Sara amefariki mapema hii leo katika hospitali ya mafunzo na rufaa ya Jaramogi Oginga Odinga County ya Kisumu na amesifiwa kwa ukarimu wake katika jamii haswa kwa wajane na mayatima. Mama Sara Obama atazikwa hapo kesho katika kijiji cha Kogelo County ya Siaya kulingana na taratibu za dini ya Kiislamu ingawaje mwili wake utasafirishwa kutoka sehemu hii ya uh, hospitali ya Jaramogi Oginga Odinga hadi uh, kijijini hii leo na kusubiri mazishi kufanywa hapo kesho kabla ya saa sita mchana na kwa sasa jamii na marafiki wanamimimika uh, katika eneo hili ili kutoa rambi rambi zao na risala kwa mama Sara Obama ambaye aliaga dunia leo asubuhi katika hospitali ya Jaramogi Uginga Udinga kaunti ya Kisumu ambapo walikuwa wanapokea matibabu tunasikitika kama familia kupoteza mama yetu mpendwa ambaye alikuwa ameshikilia familia kwa jumla alikuwa ni mtu ambaye ana huruma na ana, ana huruma na watu na mpenda watu kwa jumla nikiwa hata wiki moja kama sijakuja anapiga simu kuja tafuta pesa uje mimi nitakupa hata ya kurudisha kuja tuzungumze tu tunakaa tu tunacheka eh ana neno tena ananipenda sana kwa maana mimi ndio mdogo kwao na ni mama ambaye kitu kubwa tunamfanyia kwa sababu ameenda ni kumuombea Mwenyezi Mungu amlazi pema amgufurie madhambi zake na ampe rahma na kaburi yake iwe ni moja katika shimo la peponi wale si moja katika shimo la motoni na mama Sara Obama pia atakumbukwa kwa mchango wake haswa katika sekta ya elimu ambapo alipewa chuzo na umoja wa mataifa mwaka wa 2014 ili ku, uh, kupongeza juhudi zake katika kueneza elimu ama kukuza elimu katika kaunti ya Siaya pia wale ambao wametoa rambi rambi zao wamemkumbuka mama Sara kama mama mkarimu ambaye alikuwa na utu na kujitolea haswa kwa watu ambao wasiojiweza katika jamii hivyo basi ni swala ambalo tuta angazia kwa kina na kufuatilia jinsi mambo yatakavyokuwa yakiibuka hapa katika kaunti ya Kisubu katika hospitali ya Rufaa Jaramogi Oginga Odinga na pia katika kaunti ya Siaya ambapo atazikwa hapo kesho and uh, this message is uh, from uh, Colonel Rasange who is a Siaya County Governor he goes to say that for the period Mama Sarah Obama has been known to, uh, ha, uh, was alive uh, she was known to him um, as a matriarch who came across as a generous loving caring and uh, someone who's passionate for doing good to the people of uh, to the less endured in the, the society he goes ahead to say that with the demise of mama sara the people of Sierra County will miss her gentle, her gentleness when it came to cultural matters as well as her noble works when it comes to helping the less uh, fortunate in the society and also describing her as an ambassador of a peaceful coexistence of our people. And he goes ahead to say that on behalf of his family and the people of Sierra County, they're sending their heartfelt condolences to the family of Mama Sarah Obama because it is a difficult moment and they're praying that God will give them peace and strength during this a difficult time but then let me bring back my colleague Kevin Ogutu who's been keeping a keen eye on this developing story here on a KTN news the passing um, the demise rather of Mama Sarah Obama Kevin Ogutu once again good morning so earlier on when we we're talking you were telling us about the family being held up in a meeting what is the latest information that you have for us now well Brenda we are still right here at the Jaramogi Ogingo Dinga teaching and referral hospital where the body of Mama Sarah Obama is lying right here at Ward 7, uh, the isolation center. And uh, the latest is, has come from uh, the Muslim community. We've had uh, the briefing from Sheikh uh, Musa Haj, who is uh, the one who will be steering the burial arrangement of Mama Sarah Obama. What we are waiting for here right now is uh, the governor of Kisumu County, Professor Nyang Nyongo, who is supposed to come and view the body and after that the body will be transported to Kogelo where contrary to the tradition of the Muslim the body will be interred tomorrow before noon but not today this according to Sheikh Haji is because of the request from some of the family members who are still in Nairobi and because of the lockdown they will have to get special passes to, 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 to get to Kogelo and that will take some time and that's why the interment of the body of Mama Sarah Obama will happen tomorrow in Kogelo uh, before noon. So something else that has come up is that uh, 
a number of uh, uh, those who will be attending, when it comes to the regulation, or the, the number of 50 and below who are supposed to attend a burial, according to Sheikh Musa, they will come from uh, the security agencies who will be part of the team that will be escorting the body to uh, Kogelo in Seya County and it is uh, from uh, there that they will be able to really say who will be in attendance, who will be part of the mourners and who will not be there. They have also uh, cleared the air on the cause of death. They say that uh, it is nothing it's not COVID-19 uh, that has uh, claimed the life of Mama Sarah Obama, who passed on today at dawn, aged 99 years. But they've said she's been ailing for like over a week now, and uh, she was transported, she was transferred rather, from uh, Sagam Hospital on Saturday to Jaramogio Gingo Dinga Teaching and Referral Hospital. And uh, this was uh, following a request from the family who, because... Uh, of the need to get a more specialized uh, treatment. Unfortunately, she didn't take long here, coming, having come here on uh, Saturday, then uh, on uh, Monday, dawn, then she went to be with the Lord. We are waiting for uh, Kisumu Governor Professor Anyang Nyongo, the only person who, upon his coming here, we will, the, the, the body will now be transfer, transported rather, to Kogelo for the whole process of the internment, the preparation according uh, to the uh, Muslim faith. So that is uh, the match that we have with regards to the update on the passing on of uh, Mama Sarah Obama, who was a loving grandmother to former US President Barack Hussein Obama. More updates will come later on in our subsequent bulletins. Brenda. Ogutu, Ogutu, just before I let you go, kindly confirm to us probably whether the family has also communicated with the former U.S. President, Barack Obama? That has not come out because uh, it, it, we, we, we didn't get to talk, speak to the, uh, the family members here. Uh, so far, the person who is speaking with regards to the burial arrangements is uh, the Sheikh Hajj. And of course, uh, now that that has come up, uh, we will be uh, looking for uh, uh, the, the family members who are best placed uh, to answer that. So as we speak right now, as I tell you this, we are not yet sure whether uh, Barack Obama will, anywhere in the near future, uh, be uh, coming uh, following the death of his uh, grandmother. And no, no worries, Kevin Ogutu, totally understandable. I know you give us an answer to that once you get a hold of a family member just to confirm to us whether they've communicated with the former U.S. president about the demise of um, his grandmother. But then, among Mama Sarah Obama's last assignment to the U.S. before COVID locked the world was also used to raise a bit of contact around presenters and journalists as well. We just want to bring to your attention the latest news reaching our studios right now is that Mama Mama Sarah Obama is dead. Mama Sarah Obama has been pronounced dead. She's a Kenyan educator and philanthropist who is the paternal grandmother of the former United States President Barack Obama. That is the latest news reaching our studios right now. Even as we await more information surrounding the cause of death, that is the latest. Mama Sarah Obama, uh, better known as Sarah Onyango Obama, um, who is a Kenyan educator and philanthropist, is dead. She's well known as being the paternal uh, grandmother to U.S. President Barack Obama and she's known uh, basically as Sarah Obama and sometimes referred to uh, by those close to her as Sarah Ogwell. Uh, definitely um, quite a blow bearing in mind the blood relations uh, between the former president of the United States, Barack Obama. Uh, definitely played a key role during Barack Obama's visit right here to the the country a couple of years back, uh, just highlighting some of her achievements on July 4th, 2008. Uh, she did attend the United States Independence Day celebrations in Nairobi right here. And during the presidential campaigns, she did portray, um, she did uh, protest uh, some of the attempts to portray Obama as a foreigner 
to the United States or as a Muslim. Uh, that is the latest news reaching our studios right now. We'll definitely bring you up to speed with any developments surrounding the death of Mama Sarah Obama. That is the latest news reaching our studios. She was an educator and philanthropist who is the paternal grandmother to the former U.S. President Barack Obama. Definitely awaiting reactions following her demise, even as we share condolences to the larger Obama family, uh, both here and abroad. We'll definitely keep you updated on any news in terms of her demise. All right, that's the latest in terms of that unfortunate news on the passing on of Mama Sarah Obama. News just reaching our studios right now is that she has passed on, uh, best known for her uh, links with the former president of the United States, Barack Obama. Uh, she, uh, she was the paternal grandmother to the former United States president. Uh, not much information surrounding her demise will definitely inform you as and of when it reaches our studios. But that's the latest in terms of unfortunate news. Mama Sarah Obama has actually passed on. She's well known as a Kenyan educator and philanthropist, most notably receiving a Pioneer Award from the United Nations for the work of an education foundation that she heads as part of Women's Entrepreneurship Day. She got that award back in 2014. And of course, her tight links to the US President uh, Barack Obama will definitely play a center role in terms of her passing on. We'll definitely bring you up to speed with the latest um, in respect to her passing on. All right, that's the latest, and we'll definitely keep you updated on that. Let's just um, retract back to the uh, conversation we were having shortly before we broke that particular set 